welcome to our place. Um, itutur namin kayo inside. Let's go! This farmland is owned by my grandfather, Lolo Berto, and he was kind enough to let us develop and manage this area. This farm lot is about six hectares, pero two hectares lang yung minimintay namin. Ah, uh, yeah, it's so special for us kasi dito nakakapag-relax kami. Fresh yung air, malayo sa masyadong busy na streets, maingay na kapitbahay, so parang nagbabakasyon lang. Mostly sa materials na ginamit namin is around the area lang. That's why we were able to um, save a lot on the cost. Like yung walls uh, made of bagal nga trees, which is dito lang sa area namin, so we didn't have to buy it. And yung framing ng house and then yung floors is um, coconut, coconut trees. trees. And then yung uh, mga post is mahogany. Yung doors, framing ng doors is trees lang din nandito sa farm. That's why yung ibang framing is maliliit because we just have to maximize what we have here. And yung uh, walls inside is amakan, um, typical bahay kubo. Nipa din siya. Nipa din yung ginamit namin for the roofing. And then some of the parts like yung CR is concrete na kasi nababasa siya always. So mahirap pag ikahoy namin siya. Ito yung patio. Uh, it's just 6 by 12 feet yung size niya. Sometimes dito rin kami tumatambay, nagpapahangin, nagduduyan. By the way, these walls are made from bagal nga tree or neem tree. Dito lang din namin sa area sa nakuha so we don't have to buy this. Naka-save kami sa cost. And yung windows din namin is galing sa old windows ng parents ko. So we also don't have to buy those. And then also the wood frames for the doors. Salvage din dito sa area. There are two events na memorable sa amin dito. One was that we did our prenup here. Dun sa loob. So, tinulung ako ng cousin ko si Shina to um, redesign the house. Yung mga rattan products is galing sa shop niya. This is our setup na yung may string lights. So, memorable siya sa amin kasi dito nangyari yung um, reception namin for our civil wedding. Yung dimension ng house is 12 feet by 12 feet. Yung patio is uh, around 6 by 12 feet. And then yung CR is 4 by 6 feet. Initially, hindi siya designed to be a residential house. Parang we just wanted to have a place uh, where we can stay here sa farm to relax and to do our work kasi we're both working online. Kaya siya, kwarto lang and CR, nakadetach yung kitchen kasi later na namin na-realize na we actually need to have a kitchen. And then for the design, gusto namin yung typical na kubo pero hindi the same as what we usually see. So, naganap lang kami ng design sa Pinterest. Yun lang yung sinunda namin kung ano yung magusta namin. So, eto na yung pinaka main room. This is 12 by 12 feet yung size niya. And ito na yung bedroom slash living room slash office namin. It's made from amakan, yung um, double wall niya. And then yung ceiling niya. Before, it used to be banig. Kaya lang, since hindi namin siya na treat well, uh, we have to change it kasi uh, we need to repair it. Yung furniture, yung computer, and um, bedside table are from Red's parents' house. So we also don't have to buy those. And we just need to customize yung um, bed and then yung cabinet kasi. We need to maximize the space, kaya may storage na din siya sa baba para ilagay yung mga gamit namin. Also, the cabinets are custom-made kasi ito lang yung fair na area na pwede din namin paglagyan sa kanya. Since nasa province kami, limited lang yung items na we can choose from. So, it was easy for us to find like itong cabinet and then yung chairs. We just purchase it online kasi wala masyadong pagpipilian uh, dito sa province. Ito na yung um, workplace namin. Since both of us are working online, programmer si Red and I am a virtual assistant. 
So, dito na kami nag-work everyday. And then, diretso na sa CR. Since uh, we designed this as a place that we can stay here sa farm, uh, pag pumupunta kami, meron siyang access from the outside. So, dalawa yung access niya from the room and then may access din siya uh, palabas. So that yung visitors, uh, dito na sila dumadaan pag um, gumagamit sila ng CR. Also, we had to renovate na din yung CR kasi this used to be all bamboo dito. Kaya lang, since lagi siyang ginagamit, dito na kasi kami nakatira. Kaya madali na siyang ma-deteriorate. So we have to change it to concrete na. Well, yung favorite part po namin ng house is Yung main house na mismo, once you go inside, it's just a room. Parang all-in-one na siya. Yun na yung pinaka-living room namin, bedroom, office. and office. Usually, we spend most of our time uh, dun sa area na yun. We've been living here for two years na. And so far, with regards to the security, three houses lang kami dito. We could say naman na... Secure siya. We have a gate naman also. And then marami kaming farm dogs. Farm dogs. Oo. <laughs> uh, yung farm dogs talaga yung parang pinaka-security guard namin. Oo. So far, safe naman dito. Siguro, you just need to choose yung... or evaluate the area. Of course, at, uh, at first, before settling down. Yeah, for the cost of the farmhouse, it's about 100 50,000 more or less including the um, the furnitures inside but we were able to save a lot on the materials because uh, most of it were sourced out lang dito sa farm since we initially designed this as yung kwarto lang kaya nakadetach yung kitchen Later na namin siya nakadecide na kailangan na ng kitchen dito. So, yun. As you can see, parang iba. Ito concrete, ito um, nipa because this was the old kitchen. It's made from light materials lang. Kahoy, nipa. And then, when we actually lived here, na-realize namin na since hindi naman well-treated yung mga wood, so madali siyang na-deteriorate. So, kailangan na namin i-repair. And also, since mahilig na rin akong magluto. Kaya, we decided to extend the kitchen. So, itong side na to, concrete na siya para mas tumagal siya and hindi na masyadong mag-repair. We opted to put our entertainment dito outside. Yung TV, tsaka speakers. Dito na kami nanonood. Yung TV, YouTube, or listen to Spotify. So, we have here a coffee table which is also salvage dun sa bahay ng parents ko. And uh, the chairs are also salvaged from um, Red's parents' house. So here din sa lawn area, nilagyan namin siya ng string lights para ma-enhance yung vibes ng farm. So nabili namin siya online and we installed it this way para maganda naman siyang tignan. If we're going to choose, if it's gonna be just the two of us, we can live in this payag for a long time. But in reality, for a growing family, we also wanted each member to have their own space. So, siguro, in the long run, hindi siya magiging uh, ideal. So, meron siyang potential na pwedeng i-Airbnb later if we have another place to stay na. So, yun yung nakikita namin na potential lang payag. And then, siguro later, if uh, my budget, we are planning to have a small cafe here and also maybe do parang farm-to-table experience for people and maybe we can officially open this um, area to the public. Want to share your house and get featured? Email us at stories.onlygood at gmail.com and tell us about your interesting home story. For more videos like this, subscribe to OG and be part of the community.